Hi, welcome to another tutorial. I'm Mark Mulatrick from SaiTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the images of faces with her around. And how to extract it. This was one of the most difficult tasks to do tasks to do in previous versions of Photoshop. But now with Photoshop CS5 it became so much easier. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm here in Adobe Photoshop CS5. I've got this image open. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. Good. And I'm going to try to extract the mostly the head with the hair. I'm going to try I'll start with let's see uh, maybe a quick selection tool just make a quick selection okay quick selection tool I'm just going to click and drag over this model to select it okay looks good I'm, I'm going to cons mostly concern about the head so I'm going to here and this is a re this used to be a really really difficult task because look at this hair and the background behind as well now with Photoshop CS5 this is so much easier and you see how good it is. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to now I'm going to do, 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 go to refine edge dialog box here. So I'm going to click on refine edge to open the dialog box. Okay, looks good. Now I can select different previous here. So I can have a marching ants, overlay, on black, on white, black and white. In this case, I think on black looks really good because I can see the hair in here. Okay, so is that. Now this Refine Edge dialog box first appeared in Photoshop CS3, but has, it's been totally redesigned now with CS5. There's loads of new options here, lots of new features, and it's so, it's so much better than before. Now first, I'm going to start by checking the Smart Radius. Okay, and you can see how the image is going to change if I increase the radius. It's still working, okay. Now, even with the smart radius slider moved, now this looks so much better than before. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks really, really good. It already it looks like so much better than which I tried to achieve in Photoshop CS3 or CS4. I'm going to lower the radius to let's say about 11 pixels. That's fine. I'm going to use this new tool here, Refine Radius Tool. Now with the Refine Radius Tool, I'm going to tell Photoshop where the edges of the hair are in the image. So the Refine Radius Tool selected. I'm going to come here and I'll start clicking and dragging around this area here and see what happens when I release the mouse button. Wow, this is really good. Now I'll go here as well. Boom. Okay. One more here. This looks really, really good. Okay. Now there's some background behind here, so I'll just come here and paint. And this removes the background behind. Look at that. This is something totally new in CS5. This looks really, really good. Now I can use the radius. Okay, to increase or decrease. Now this is too high. I think I'm going to leave it really low. This looks good. Okay. Now there's still some backgrounds behind, so I'm going to use decontaminate colors to remove this color from the background. And I can see how it's changed. Okay. That's before. That's after. You can see the color of the hair changes as well. This looks really, really good. Okay, now like that. Now, how do I want to output it? This will. This is also new in CS5. I can output it to new layer with layer mask. This will be the default setting when you check the contaminated colors. You can also export it to new layer, new document, or new document with layer mask. I'm going to leave it on the default. New layer with layer mask. And uh, just a few more things I want to show you here. You can also show the radius. That's how I use the tool. And you can also look at the original. This will show you how we started. So that's how we started here in the Refine Edge. That's before and that's after. Amazing difference now with the Refine Edge in Adobe Photoshop CS5. 
Okay, now let's exp export it. Let's output it to a new layer of layer mask. So I'm just going to press OK. Flash moves it to a new layer of layer mask. It also hides the background layer. It's another great feature. And let's put a new back image behind. So I'm going to select the background layer and I'll do uh, File Place to place a new image. I'm going to use this image here, just a landscape. So put it behind. Okay, I'll move it up a bit. This looks good. And as the image that we extracted on the on a completely new layer, I'm going to use the move tool and move it around so you can see how it blends with the content, with the background. Pretty amazing. Really, really good. Okay, this was a tutorial on using the new Refine Edge in Adobe Photoshop CS5. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a look on some more videos from me. Or I also have a show called Photoshop Lightroom TV where you can find loads of videos about Photoshop Lightroom and Adobe Bridge. Um, uh, once again, I'm Marek Mulachuk from SciTrain.co.uk and I hope to see you on the next video.